Temporary exhibitions are a very important part of what the Courtauld Gallery does, but previously they were housed in a very provisional way. And these beautiful spaces, for the first time, give us a platform to develop the gallery's distinctive programme of research-led shows at a very high level of quality. The opening project in the new temporary exhibition galleries will showcase the gift of modern and post-war drawings by the artist Linda Karshan, made in memory of her husband Howard. The gift includes drawings by Cezanne and Kandinsky and Paul Clay and stretches to Boys and Cy Twombly and Philip Guston and Georg Baselitz, a really major gift with many wonderful, enthralling works. One of my personal favourites is an extraordinary sort of bacchanalian, energetic drawing by the Swiss artist Louis Souter, whose work is still very little known in the UK. It was important for us to lead with this project because we wanted to demonstrate that it has not only been the building that has developed and benefited from this renovation project, but that in parallel, the collection has also grown uh, and developed. The Courtauld has a wonderful drawings collection of over 7,000 individual works, and we're very fortunate to have a dedicated space in the gallery where we can share the collection with our visitors. The Butler Drawings Gallery will be used for temporary exhibitions and we'll be doing three exhibitions a year. The opening project in November is a selection from our wonderful collection of British drawings and it's called Pen to Brush British Drawings and Watercolours. The selection starts with a beautiful small drawing by Isaac Oliver from around 1610 and includes some wonderful drawings from the golden age of British watercolour by Turner and others and then in the 20th century a beautiful shelter drawing by Henry Moore. We couldn't resist uh, including um, Edward Days's beautiful panoramic watercolour showing Somerset House viewed uh, from the Thames before the embankment was built. And another uh, highlight is Helen Sanders's almost abstract, radical drawing produced when she was a member of the Vorticist group at the beginning of the 20th century. Project Space is going to be one of the ways in which we connect the public gallery with the Courtauld's role as one of the leading international centres for the teaching and research of the history of art. So we will organise projects here that um, showcase work that is done across the whole Courtauld Institute of Art. The opening display is going to introduce to our visitors the work of the important British architectural photographer uh, Anthony Kirsting, um, who gave 42,000 photographs to the Courtauld on his death in 2008. And these are part of a huge um, digitization project that is underway, funded by uh, the National Lottery. Uh, we're going to focus specifically on Kirsting's visits to Kurdistan in 1944 and 1946, where he photographed architectural sites, some of which have since uh, been destroyed, but also took extraordinary portraits um, and documented everyday life in the region.